Body, engine and suspension meet, and once in position, busy hands begin to assemble the details to complete the most modern motor car ever conceived. A special cord formation has given the small diameter tires about the same long life that you get with good conventional sized ones. The Morris emblem with the famous Cowley bull is put on, then the seats are added under the watchful eyes of inspectors. And now the Morris Mini Miner has become a production line reality ready in a minute or two to drive off. Gears work, everything's in order. Windscreen wipers, lights. Just the final alignments, correcting the track and focusing the headlights. And here's your car ready for the road. But before these sensational cars in full production were announced to the public, BMC demonstrated them to the press of the whole world. Such was their confidence based on sheer performance. World-renowned motoring correspondents inspected the babies thoroughly. Men like Paul Frere, Belgium, Robert Braunschweig, Switzerland, Werner Kroll, Germany, Bernard Caillé, France, and British correspondents like Harold Knockhold, Morris Smith, Basil Cardew, Tommy Wisdom, were intrigued with the compact new engine layout, the novel suspension system, the astonishing roominess of the interior, and every aspect of the new car. These motoring correspondents took the new cars and drove them and saw for themselves how the clever suspension and the new engine position gave them a spacious car with such a wonderful ability to hold the road that they were a zippy joy to drive. Then with one great jubilant voice, the press of the world paid tribute to the Morris Mini Minor, hailed it as something brilliantly new in the field of motoring. For see what they said. Some baby, great car sensation. The little giant, it's a people's car that opens up a new era in family motoring. These new cars are sensational. BMC cars set up a new standard in cheap motoring. Performance and comfort retained. Some baby, load it. Now cars are positively pouring off the production line. Remember that family at the bus stop? You know, the ones who just couldn't get away? The mini miners transformed their lives. But what about all that luggage? Can they get it in? Well, there's the back shelf for the radio and mum's hat box. And the boots are surprising size in itself. There's room for a few suitcases over the spare wheel and that still leaves a gap for a coat. Amazing how much you can fit into the side panels. And under the seats. Yes, they'll pop underneath too. 
the front shelf is big enough for mats and handbags. And there are the door pockets too. And we're off. But tell me one thing, what's Dad reminding them about? Why, those days before the Mini Miner came into their lives. It's different now as they set out for a family holiday on the continent. Even jam-packed London's no real problem. You thread your way through the traffic with complete ease. Weaving through the heaviest of traffic with the ease of a motorbike. And away you go. Through Canterbury, heading for the coast. The Dover Road, you're on your way to the perfect holiday. You're in a car that has been built to your personal needs and means. Now there's nothing to delay you or thwart your happiness. You and your Mini Miner are bound for fresh and exciting new horizons and a motoring future that only true wizardry on wheels could make possible. This car was awarded the Dewar Trophy in 1960 for the most outstanding British technical achievement in automobile design.